I'm Matt and welcome to Tech Tested. When you need to power two power supplies, there's an easy way and the hard way. And I always seem to pick the hard way. First, let's get into the reasons you may want to power more than one PC power supply. The most common reason today would be Bitcoin mining. However, there are some other reasons you may be interested in doing this. Maybe your current power supply doesn't have enough SATA cables in order to power all of your hard drives. Or maybe, like me, you want to power multiple graphics cards. Now I realize for the vast majority of people this is going to be a complete waste of time. You would be much better off buying a more powerful power supply. However, for my case, when I'm testing GPUs, it's really nice to have that extra oomph and most of my high-end power supplies have actually died recently. But before we get into that, let's talk about the various ways you can power a secondary power supply. The first method is using a jumper wire to jump the green wire and a black wire on your 24 pin on your secondary power supply. You can also purchase a switch that will do essentially the same thing. The biggest problem with this method is your power supply will not be tied to your primary power supply, therefore it will be up to you to manually switch it off and on when necessary. While I've never had any problems using this method before, in theory leaving your power supply on or turning it on too early or too late could damage your components. That's where the power supply adapter comes in. It's a small little circuit board with a Molex connector and a 24 pin and a relay. Now these are pretty cheap on Amazon and we'll leave a link down in the description if you feel like you want to pick one of these up. However, I decided I wanted to make my own. That's where this disk drive looking box comes in. I have gutted this disk drive and installed various components in order to make this work. Now the first thing you'll notice is this is a lot bigger than the one you can buy at retail and so you might be thinking this is really stupid. There are a couple advantages to my design that I will get into later but first we're going to go through the wiring. The first thing you'll note is the Molex connector connected to a yellow and a black wire hooked up to our bus bar. This supplies power from the primary power supply. That power is then fed into a relay. Let's explain how a relay works. Two of the legs are connected internally to a coil. When you apply power to one of the legs and a ground to the other, it creates an electromagnetic force that pulls in a switch. That switch then creates contact between two of the other legs on the coil. When the coil is not energized, there is no connection between the other two legs. An easy way to think of this is you're basically using electricity to push and hold down a button. With that in mind, if you look inside our box, you can see that the white wire and the black wire are connected to the yellow and black legs of the Molex connector. These provide power to the coil. So when your primary power supply is turned on, it energizes that coil, pulling in the switch connecting the other two legs. The other two legs are represented in the yellow and blue wire on our bus bar. Those go to a black and green wire, which are connected to a 24 pin connector into which you plug your secondary power supply. The green wire is the sense wire for your secondary power supply and the black wire is a ground. So when you connect them, it tells it to turn on. So far, nothing I've described to you is something that doesn't happen on the cheaper model you can buy off of Amazon. As you can see though, there are more wires in my power supply adapter. I have another black wire and a red wire coming from the cable that connects to the secondary power supply and they go to the bus bar. The black wire is a ground and the red wire supplies 5.5 volts from our secondary power supply. It's important that those 5.5 volts come from the secondary power supply because they illuminate an LED on the front of the box. That LED is there to indicate to you that the secondary power supply is in fact getting power. If you were to pull that 5.5 volts from the primary power supply through a Molex connector with a red wire, you would just be able to know if your primary power supply was turned on, which you should already know if it's hooked up to a computer and a monitor. Now in its current state, this is the only functional advantage that my design has over the much cheaper and smaller design you can get off of Amazon. There are some other theoretical advantages to my design though. You could hook up multiple power supplies to my system in order to power two or three or four secondary power supplies without having to add additional boards. 
The other advantage is you could actually hook up 12 volts from your secondary power supply to the bus bar if you had the available wires from your connector. The final advantage my model has is it fits in a five and a quarter inch bay, which means it can hide conspicuously in your PC. But you guys aren't just here to listen to me talk about this system. You wanna see if it works. So let's give it a test. Now I won't be hooking this up to a PC quite yet, but I will be using a switch to turn on our primary power supply. And then you will see the secondary power supply turn on as well. We are going to use computer case fans to verify that each power supply is turning on. As you can see, there are fans spinning from each of our power supplies, indicating that it actually works. Both of our power supplies are running. Now, this isn't necessarily the final iteration of this box. I intend to hook up some switches so that I can manually turn off and on the secondary power supply at my will, and I also intend to set it up so that it can use multiple secondary power supplies at one time. That will be coming up in a future video. Now, I know it's easier to go out and purchase something that will function the exact same way, but sometimes it's a lot more gratifying to actually build something yourself. I am in no way an electrical engineer, but I do enjoy tinkering with this kind of stuff, and it's really fun to see it work. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, follow us on our social media platforms, and check out our Discord and our website so you can pick yourself up some of our tech tested merch. Thank you.